So this is Roboy, and Robo is quite a special robot because he's not built like most of or all of the other robots in the world. Yeah. The main difference is that he does not have um, motors in the joints, yeah. but he uses muscles and muscle imitations like we human do. Okay. So we really want to understand how does this work with humans. Yeah. We have over 600 muscles in our human body and we coordinate them all day long and we don't really have a problem with that, right? Yeah. And most of us don't even know how it works and research isn't. And we built the systems to learn, to, to learn how does this work and to also um, see the advantages this has had. Roboy is a very soft system. If you push Roboy, he will, he will react wow. like passively. And if you do this with a, with a normal robot, it should just fall over. There's no passive dynamics in a, in a normal robot. Is he kind of glued to this box? He's because, I mean, he wasn't flipping over, right? No, he's actually screwed to the box. Okay, cool. But this is also for security reasons. And <laughs> before you ask, he cannot walk yet. <laughs> um, walking is extremely different, oh, difficult yeah. for robots anyway. And yeah. it's even more difficult for Roboy because, because he's so soft. So Roboy is open source, so basically you can, um, given you have the electronics and the... Uh, the 3D printer, or you want to, are willing to spend the money to have it printed somewhere, and by all means, it is. Uh, it is a project that basically wants to to gather people together in um, that are interested in this kind of robotics. Yeah. And of course, the research, like the pure research, is is, is going on on li more limited systems. So we have the Maya Robotics research project in the background, yeah. and this is a it's a U project. It's a, it's a research project, but we feel that. Having something like Roboy, which is a which is a hit, and people really want to see it and interact with them. I mean, we wouldn't probably be talking about my robotics, but we're talking about Roboy, and this is this is why it's here because we want a system to be out to be seen and, and interested. People can then contact us and be all like, "Well, I would really like to work on this because I think it's a nice project and it's a nice vision to build robots that that are built to learn from how the human muscle skeletal system works." But Tell us a little bit about the technical aspect of Roboy. Um, so, you know what, if it just guess that I would have a 3D printer at home and I'm going to buy all these little uh, components, how much would it cost me to, to build a device like this or a robot like this? Around 200k. 200k euros. Write us an email and we send the, the link to the public, publicated files to you. Um, they're a bit rough, so that's why we did not push them just online. Right. Because we want people to talk with us about them. So we can tell them, well, there's actually some things that we changed mm -hmm. when we built it that's not implemented in the 3D files and so on. Could you see this also somewhere else than in a typical R&D environment, maybe even bringing it to schools? Actually, we are. There's a Roboy at School project. And it's a project where basically Roboy is um, leading through a whole day at school. And the idea is we have four lectures. And the a class is having one lecture. One lecture is about um, robotics in general and the history of robotics and the social impacts of robotics. Another one is how do you build a robot yeah. and, and design it. Another one is uh, basically about the biology because we, we can show some really nice things on robot. Yeah. Like the interaction of muscles when you see him move. It's, it's something that can, you can see and better understand how it works right. in your body. And lastly, there's a lecture where they will build a, a robot um, and then there's a contest who built the fastest robot. Okay. So for the, 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 the young to, to, to really compete on, uh, on the fastest robot. And it's going to be, uh, so it, the pilot will be in uh, July this year. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, together with two teachers and a sociologist. So it's for the locals properly. So this is the very first look at Roboy, a humanoid robot here at CBIT. Social for Mobile Geeks, thanks for watching. Bye.